Well, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're digging, and when I say we, me and Matt, we're digging for ourselves. We're uh, we're off the Brighton Way. We're going, yeah, Brighton Way tomorrow, down on the south coast. Going so we can find some place or some soil, some codling, some rays. I don't really know. Um, so me, Matt, are going. Maddie Man's going, but he couldn't make it tonight. Family commitments and stuff is what it is. So we said we'd um. We said we'd give it a go and just see if we can find enough worm for him, but that is just too small. And I won't take some worms, because it ain't worth it. I've picked out a couple so far. Matt's got a couple. Matt's actually got two buckets. Um, the second one, the little one, being three splits. Now, putting split or blown lugworm in when you pop them with your full core, you pop them pulling them out of the ground, all their juices and stuff blows the rest of them. Um, so keeping them in a separate pot is the way to go. Um, and there's no point in chucking them back because if it's a decent sized worm, they're just as good as lug that hasn't been blown. Um, yeah, we're gonna well, ideally we want about three or four hundred for me, Matt. Jonathan's coming down as well, one of my subscribers. Um, one, one of my uh, one of my customers actually. I sell um, some of my scrap too, like e waste scrap computers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, he's gonna meet us down there because he lives local and he needs bait as well. So stupidly, I said, Yeah, yeah. We'll get loads, me and Matt. Well, we've got out here tonight. The wind is blowing an absolute gale on shore. You can probably hear it. Um, which is keeping the water on the ground. So I see the, look, there's loads of water. And that is no, when you're pumping, it's, I think when there's water on the ground, when I'm pumping, I love it because the water gives, it, gives the pump that little extra bit of suction. But when you're digging commons, it's bloody horrible because it fills your row up. We have found a raised bit of ground and what it looks like Matt's doing, Matt's digging. Matt's dug a bit of a trench. So you can see here, dry ground which is what he's digging back to and on the other side of it is wet and that his little trenches is, is keeping the water from coming in but then what happens is where Matt's digging all of his mud he's basically going to be chucking it back in his hole so he's basically as he's digging he's backfilling at the same time yeah there will be a little mound but when we finish digging that'll all just get pushed back in the hole anyway um listen I need to crack on and get digging because otherwise I'm gonna have no worms um but I will obviously, guys, bring you back through the night um, and, and, yeah, and go from there. Just uh, just quickly, it's totally different to digging lug, but there's a big show going on this weekend um, from the 31st till the 2nd of October down in Weymouth. It's called Real Masters. So it's like an angling, it's like a boat angling show, if you like. So it's to do with boats, fishing, um, and inflatable boat fishing are one of the biggest sponsors this year. Um, and I'm going to be down there this weekend with Carlo, um, and the boss Susie, bless her heart. Um, I'll be down there Saturday and Sunday. I can't do Friday because of other commitments, family stuff. But yeah, I'll be down there for the two days. Um, so if anyone wants to come down, get onto inflatableboatfishing.com, um, find out where to get the tickets from, or go on to realmasters.com. Just Google it; it'll come up. I should know exactly what I'm looking for, but to be honest, I'm out in the mud and, and I can't. I can't think of what it's called. Um, but yeah, it should be a bloody good event. There'll be loads and loads of stuff to see. There's a chance to win an inflatable boat. Um, I'm not sure how much tickets are, but they're not that, they're not that expensive. Um, and yeah, that's down in Weymouth. So anyone down on the south coast, anyone that wants to know a bit, a little bit more about the sip fishing, wants to see one up close and personal, um, then yeah, get down. There's a nice one, Matt. There's two there, actually. Don't pop it. So a little shush of worm, Matt. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh, free worm. Free worm. So there's Matt's hole, and there's my little hole. <laughs> right, I'm going to crack on, people, and I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, we're about know, 20 minutes later, and what we've done, we've dug ourselves into a bit of an hole, which is what we want. So we're keeping the water out now on all sides, and then what I'm walking on, and let me get out of the hole. So you can see what we're doing. So you can see what's left. We'll dig all of that out. Obviously, take the worm out of it. But what we have noticed now is there's a few, the tide's drawing back and drawing back. Even though the wind is blowing on shore, which has definitely calmed down since we got here, the tide is drawing back. So we're getting more, more dry patches come up now, which is, well, which is exactly what we need. Um, so the water doesn't fill up. So the reason we don't want water in the hole is because you can see the wall. Now, when we're digging on that wall, you can see every now and again, you can see a worm. And you know, 
you just know what you're doing. And the water just makes it an absolute mess and a bloody pain in the arse. It's a worm from that. Worm's a worm. Um, hopefully in a minute we might see an owl. If Matt pulls his thing. So like there, this, this tube, you see that down in the black mud? That is where a lug lives or a lug is, was going. And again there you can see the hole and it's a slightly different colour. Yeah, that's where, in fact, and on that bit of mud there, and I'll break that away, you see that little tube that's inside the tube, like that, that is where the worm is eating its way through the mud and basically pooing its way back out. So that little bit, which is, that will get pushed up the tube and that's what creates the casts, which, as most people know, these are the casts. And that will come back out of the hole. So it's going in one end and coming straight back out the other end. Um, but on the wall, I can't see any holes where there was any luck. Sometimes you can see it and then you know there's a worm there. So you can just concentrate on that and be a bit more careful with it when you're digging. Not just digging anywhere, basically. So there's another one. There's another roll. That would have been a good lug. You can see straight down there. And you can see where the tubes are. Everywhere where we've been digging. And there, look, again, there's another, there's another bit of curd, if you like. It's not. It's only mud. Yeah, well, I've got to get back digging. Matt's got a few in the bucket now. I've got a few in the bucket. Still not enough, nowhere near enough. We need to treble four times as much, but yeah, in a bit. Right, Matt's got the last little bit left there. We've done a big hole already, to be fair. But I say, we've not really that much to show for it. I might have maybe 40 or 50 worms there. Matt's probably got about the same, maybe a couple more. Um, I'm a bit annoyed actually, because I've just done a bit of footage. Matt dug up a sand hill which we never find down here. Like we don't, we just, I know they live in the sand because that's the name, but I don't live in this sand around here because most of it's mud. But we have found a few little white rag tonight. Um, they're only like maddy sort of size. Um, I know the match boys absolutely love them. I've never really had much luck on them, but then I've never really used them properly. Um, I don't know, the big ones, when you get them like the same sort of size as king rag, they can be worth up to two quid each. Um, yeah, each worm. But I don't really know anyone that uses them round here. I like to say, I know the top, top match boys do, but I'm not really into all that. I don't like fishing for white and dogfish, so I can crack on. Um, but don't get me wrong, they're bloody good at what they do. They're very good anglers to be out. Like, I know I know one one bloke, James actually, little James. I say little James, beginning of me now. Um, but it, he said like he does matches and he did used to fish for England as a kid. Um, but they'll have up to 70. 70 to 80 sizable fish in a four hour match that's without all the undersized fish as well which that's just a lot of fish again they're only white and dog fish maybe some clay some dabs whatever but um matt there's a worm there oh just missed yeah. it oh was it um but yeah that's still a lot of fish personally that's my idea of hell fishing that hard for so many white and dog fish but it's what they do um and sometimes it can pay well so did i miss did you miss the problem with these worms is, see that, they're quite creamy. I think, mate, I don't know if it's because they're spawning or what, does it mean they're spawning, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, so they're spawning, so they're a bit, I don't know how well they're gonna last. Um, but, bait's bait at the end of the day. Fresh worms, you can't beat them. Hopefully, tomorrow, when I go fishing, I'm gonna do a bit of pumping as well. And that'll, that'll be a separate video, though, to be fair. Um, and I'll hopefully give it a go down there and see if we, I ain't been pumping for ages. Because obviously Darren's been getting Darren and Ken have been getting my worms. Just don't have really the time. But we needed bait for tomorrow, and well, here we are doing it. Just hope we can get enough for everyone. If not, sorry boys, you'll have to find some yourselves. Right, we're gonna go and find another patch of dig. See this? Obviously, we've got this dry patch here. You can clearly see that, um, and then everything else around it's wet. But these dry patches are formed where people have dug holes like there's another dry patch there you can see it and there's another bit of a dry patch just there that's basically this once the tide comes in all right I'll, I'll run around and push as much of it back in as i can but there will still be a lump there um and that's what's causing it which means that is basically already been dug out of worms where we need to be digging is here look at the cast there's thousands of them but digging in the water is bloody hard work um but right now we need to start another roll somewhere and crack on so in a bit Right, so we've dug a couple of big holes now. 
I've just dug another one and a couple of small rolls. But the right now, I'm just literally walking around because the ground is still soaking wet. It's hard work digging. I've got a few more lug in the bucket, but still not really enough. Matt's got a few more than me, but I'll keep stopping to record. It's not because I'm fat and I'm really slow. Um, but basically, all I'm doing now is walking around, trying to find a patch of like four or five casts together. I'll just dig it out in the water and hopefully get a couple of worm. If I do four or five digs and get three or four worm out of it, that do. Move on, do another three or four digs, three or four worm, and, and just that's going to be the way you have to do it tonight. You need the wind blowing offshore really to help you out. You come I mean, in, you can dig a trench and wait for the water to blow off or move off or whatever, but I just ain't got the time. We've got about 45 minutes worth left of digging. I am absolutely dying for my diet coke, like there. So there's a little patch of of a few casts, and I'm hoping that I can get three or four worm out of that and see what happens. Right, people, so coming towards the end of the night, Max has found, him, found himself a few casts. We're just potholing now. Um, literally, we're just finding a little group of casts together. Seems, there's a load more now, because Tide's obviously gone out a bit further. My head talk's just dying, that's why. Oh, there's one. How do? Here's a nice lug for Matt. So that's one out of this hole. We look for about three or four out of each hole, and then we sort of move on. Um, and if we do too many digs, then it's just, well, we'd, we'd, we'd shoot off anyway. I'll keep you with us for a minute. I've had enough. My back's killing me. I'm getting old, and I'm fat. My head torch just died. Didn't charge it properly. Right, Matt, that was a bit crap, that hole. Find yourself a better one. Look, Matt's bucket, look. Matt's doing bloody... Oh, put this hand in there. It's a dirty hand. Now, there's a nice few lug in there. And then he's got his splits in there, which is quite a few of them, and all, to be fair, Matt. Um, and then here's my... Well, probably a third four in this bucket. And I've got a few in there, too. There's a lot of dirt in with it. And all my, I've been chucking all my splits in there, and all, to be fair, because they'll be taken out tonight. Right. Show us some more. Here, mate, some nice big ones here. They're just not that close together. Where are you going here? He's got a couple there on his folk, and then he's, I'm assuming he's going to walk back across all these ones here as well. I'll be your pick up upper. I'm down on my knees for you, Matt. It ain't going to happen again. Yeah, that's just a towel, that. So that's somewhere around here, there'll be a nice worm. We hope. We hope. So far. Must be stage fright, Matt. Where they gone? Towel. So just to clarify, I know I've said the splits, we only bother keeping the bodies because the towels are just full up of sand. There's no point. Like half the time I snip my towels off anyway and, and chuck them because there's just no point. You just get in the way. There's one. You've got to have pretty good eyes or know what you're looking for. Well, I've been doing it a long time. I mean, I don't do it all the time, but I've been digging. There's another one. Hang on, knock it in, Matt. Go on, you keep digging. Yeah. Um, you've got to know what you're looking for. Smaller one, but a worm is a worm, and it's not too small. And there's another one. Hold on, Matt. See, look, I just cop that. See that little bit there, right at the corner of my eye. But that there is another worm. So that was a quick two out of that, and a couple of towels. Oh, look, he's onto another one. The boy, he's onto another one. I said about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, I said, Right, I'm, out. I'm gonna have 20 more worms, and I'm going. Matt got his 20, and I was on about six. My excuse is though, Matt hasn't got a license, so he has to walk everywhere and I drive a van. So that's what it is. Matt's just fitter than me. Where they gone? You was gonna swear there, Matt, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Where you were, that was only a towel. I don't swear. No, of course you don't. Well down the bloody one. Right, so I've just demonstrated on how, how really crap Matt is at digging. Yep. Like, really. Oh, hold up. He's found one. He's found one. Maybe. So, right, Matt. Now you're going to have a break, right? I'm putting this in my bucket, not yours. Right, you have a break. You take my phone and you film me and see how quick. Get off. And see how quick I can find one. Right, let me find a decent patch. Well, I'm going to aim out of this hole. I want two worms. Four 
yep, we've got two worms at four to five digs. Now, see these casts here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's seven and eight up there, but I'm not gonna bother going up there. Now, when I dig, I always do, not quite a full forkful, just to break, just to break the suction of the surface. And then I go in for the full one. So I'm classing this is my first turnover. One. There's a worm, two. Oops, split. That's what, right, worm, split or not. I need two more worms out of the area. He is, look, two worms in three digs. Mate, you're rubbish at this. You know, mate. <laughs> See how many more I can get out. Now, I've done I've done my quota, but I know there's more worms in this hole, so let's see how many we can get out of it. Another sign it takes small digs as well. Three worm. I'm putting you to shame, son. I'm letting you off this time. You have to look good on the channel, don't you? I've got to annoy. If everyone else beats me into fishing, I might be adding more worms, but I can't get more bloody fish. I'm sure you'll beat me tomorrow night when we're on the beach. No mackerel, but. That's just a fork with him, let's just have to cut that aside to see if I can pinch one more. Yes, there she is. Nice, one more. What's that, four worms out of this hole, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, one more dig, and I'm going on. Zilch. Right, people, so that is a bit of lug worm digging. Um, and tomorrow, what I'll do is I shall film doing a bit of pumping, seeing what's around in Brighton, wherever we go and pumping. Um, I've been told I can get out and do a bit of pumping by the pier, so we'll go and have a little look around the pier, see what we can find. If I can get 10, 20 fresh out blacks tomorrow to do a bit of fishing with tomorrow night, I'll be happy. I'm, I'll be over the moon with that. So, right, thanks for watching. Don't forget about the Real Master Show. If anyone's interested in inflatable boats or just general boat fishing, come down and see us. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Carlo said there'll be a crate of beers down there, so come and have a beer with us, come and have a chat. Um, I will leave the link for inflatable boat fishing in the description of this video. I know it's not an inflatable boat video, but it's, I needed to mention it this week because it's coming up this weekend. Um, yeah, in a bit.